Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my AMX 54 on heel brown and counter battle. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about toxicity. Uh, the other part is to push my editing skills and try out new things. Um, so first of all, if you follow Reddit like I do, um, you'll notice that toxicity posts are posted often. And the most recent one is this one right here, which talks about good players being at fault, and it's not the lesser skilled one's fault. Um, goes on to say bad, bad players are not the problem, good ones are, uh, who indulge in the sense of superiority, and then not being able to cope with bad players and their plays is a weakness of their own mind, not the shortcomings of others. <clears throat> and I would agree with that to a point. Stat Shamers is definitely um, in that category, which I'm being kind of hypocritical with this video, um, but I did take a lot of time to cover up the identities of the two people that I was playing with. Look out. Enemy spotted. And that's where my editing skills come in. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle in between the three of us and just kind of show how our games progress throughout this battle and then kind of talk about where the toxicity comes in and how it's handled. And I'll briefly touch on the game a little bit like right now if you, if I'm spawning in the north when you spawn in the north a lot of times you have a lot of people on the hills in the back and really you don't want to drive past the F line because you're going to out drive your coverage here so I'm just trying to get in a position to get vision out for my snipers and yes some of my snipers are heavy tanks one heavy in here so if they decide to rush us um, and they keep it in this ditch there's no way that our snipers can see past the mountain behind me they can see the sides however so if we can make sure that they funnel up the outside we've got a better chance of winning this so the m103 is getting pretty aggressive already slammed a shot into him he's dead and now i can go work on other things All right, so now I'm going to jump into 60 TP, and to start off, I am going to show some stats, but it's not really to shame them, it's just to really give you guys a gauge of how they play. So the 60 TP, these are his top 10 most played tanks. There's a lot of tier 10s in here. Um, after 35,000 games, that's much appreciated. Um, and then I go to recent stats, and I'm going to look at, like, snapshot of how he did this month look at his win eight that's that's just how i judge people's uh the quality of play what have you um and i know there's arguments about that but that's that's what i look at and honestly i don't look at it too often i really have come to not care about my teammates as much unless they're willing to work with me it's just so much less stress um, and I got to a point where uh, it was it was pretty ridiculous. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a competitive guy. I love to win games, so I scream at the TV. But I just don't spend the time looking up everybody's stats to see how good they are. All right, so he's fighting an E100 there. And honestly, you guys know how I feel about City. Um, it's really not important in Hillbron. And if you win field, you can surround the city. I mean, we sent two heavy tanks there, so it's not terrible. Um, they sent more tanks than we did. Unfortunately, our E5 totally outdrove our 60 TP, so this guy's stuck by himself in the city. All right, so now we're gonna go to the toxic player. And this is where I wanna touch on, on that post. He says that the good the good players problems this is uh, a guy that's played 44,000 matches and his top tanks are PZ1C Cromwell Churchill 3 and other lower tier tanks he's actually above average on his win 8 so I mean after 44,000 battles it's good to see that he is above average 
But this gameplay really makes me question it. All right, so Cat's out of the bag. He doesn't move until two and a half minutes of this battle goes by. He's in a T95. So the fact that he takes that long to decide where he wants to go, I don't know, maybe he was getting a cup of coffee, something happened there, whatever. Alright, so getting back to me. Now, they've been capping us for like 30 seconds right now, and this is about where he turns on his bike and he starts laying into the team. Um, just saying how we don't care if we lose, we just want to pad our stats. Um, and I'm just thinking I'm right next to the base, so if it gets close to cap, then I can just get on there and they won't be able to cap anymore. Okay, so right now we've started to have some teammates come down to 890, um, which hopefully if they come in behind me, they're going to be covered. Or I'm going to be covered, but now I want to focus this direction. I guess a nice shot into that scout early on set him on fire which is pure skill, there's no luck involved in that. I did load an HE, so um, that helps when you get a fire. Okay, again back to the toxicity part. So you can see he started to ping the map there, and he's pinging C9, and he's telling us how the guys on the cliff can't have any shots, and he doesn't know why they're the, where they are. And then continues to say that we're pretty much just throwing this game because they're going to cap. After 44,000 matches, you'd think that you understand how this game variant works. I don't know. Nothing really surprised me anymore. And like I said, I used to get angry and turn my mic on and argue with these guys. I just don't do it anymore. So back to the 60 TP. At this point, he's lost his E5, and I feel like he needs to evacuate. Sure enough, he thinks the same thing. He starts to back up. Now, it might be a little too late, but also, he does have two tank destroyers covering him in the field. So, as long as he gives them a sight line to shoot into, he should be okay, in my opinion. Now the problem is, one of the tank destroyers is our T-95. So, the T-95 is throwing a fit, and he's like, well, since nobody wants to do anything, I'm probably not going to shoot. He's like, why should I even shoot for my teammates? Alright, so our 60 TP has kind of put himself um, in a hard place for going to city with an E5 that wants to kill himself and a T95 that isn't going to support him. So he decides that he's going to focus on the E100 and I think that's the best bet. He does have a T57 heavy driving in behind him, but at this point you hope that your two tank destroyers are going to solve that problem for you. Unfortunately, they don't. He's going to take a little clip of T57 right up the top. Now the 60 TP has a lot of health, so it can take take that. He bounces off the cheek, and that's really probably just because he's aiming up into it, and he should have shot the lower part of the face. <clears throat> I'm not going to criticize him too much. Honestly, that was just a crappy situation that he had to get through. Um, and now we get to the T95, and I speed it up because I really don't want you guys to have to watch this guy's gameplay and how slow he is in reacting. And he doesn't really turn towards the city until the 60 TP is dead. So as our 60 TP is getting flanked, he has now put himself in a position where he can shoot the enemy tanks. So I'm well skilled in setting fires in this tank, as you can see I light the E100 up.
and out. They still have their guy on cap, and they have a minute 16 left in their cap. But as long as I stay up here, which is kind of dangerous if I get spotted and they have tanks surrounding me. Um, but I see my scouts going to the K-line, so I figure they don't have anyone in the cell. At this point, we lose our 60 TP in the city. And now I'm going to go back to T95. So this is his stand. And it, at this point, the 60 TP died, and he chimes into this dude and is like, you know, you could have came into the city with me in the E5, and we would have held up pretty well. And he's like, our T95 responds with, I'm a tank player, I'm meant to snipe. Um, and then we watch this, and... The T95 is not a sniper. It is a assault tank. It is the best armored tank destroyer in the game. You could argue E3, um, but I'll counter argue because the T95 side armor is actually better. So me and my E100 pinch down this IS-4, and I'm out of APCR at this point, so I get sloppy in my shot. I thought you know, with an APCR I'd be able to put it through that shoulder plate, but um, it's too well angled for my AP round to get through, so it just doesn't happen. Now the rest of it's pretty boring. Speed up to the end. And now he's relentless. So. He starts telling us that we should cap, we're gonna throw the game. Why don't we just cap since we have so many people here, we're selfish and we just want damage. To me, the game's in full control and why should we cap when we know we can kill the rest of their tanks? So our 60 TP tries to get a word in, the T95 just won't let it happen. And to recap, I wanted to counter the Reddit posting uh, with a video, it's a pretty hot topic. And don't get me wrong, there are good players that are toxic. The stat shamers, a week ago, somebody barraged me with messages about how much better he is than me, and I just ignore it. Honestly, if you want a better gaming experience on here, just mute the people that complain. Um, yeah, so that's the solution to that. And I know this is my second video today, so I'll have a link. Check out my other one. It is a sweet game in my 13105. Italian tanks are coming out tomorrow, which is really exciting. This is really all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.